Hi guys, in this episode of Total Pro Build, uh, we focus on the inside of the VACA. So I yeah, finish up the LiPo, that will reinforce uh, the bulkhead so it's ready for the deck. And then we start working, uh, making cardboard templates and figuring out how to make the inside uh, bulkheads of the VACA. And basically, starting to finish up all the epoxy work inside so I can start sanding and painting and uh, start decking the boat. All the best guys, Balkan Shipyards. Making a template for the bulkheads. So you'll clamp on a piece of wood exactly on the line where the bulkhead's going to be, and you'll mark it over here. Now, <coughs> this is where you must play with cardboard, there's no other way. So you put it on, you put it on your line, and you hold it over there against a the piece of wood, and you start off with making a pencil line over here. That gives you the bevel. Now, I'll take a tape measure and I'll measure how much I got off the top over here, what's the difference, how much it must go back. And I say it's got to go back, I'll just, I'll say seven centimeters. So basically, this line has to move parallel seven centimeters this way. Very simple. I move my line over and I cut it with a knife and now it's a perfect fit. Yeah, I'll put it on this side. It's a perfect fit, now I've got to do the bottom. But it comes on this side. So, I'll put it in place so it's snug up against the wall and then anything is good. You just need something parallel. It can be a piece of wood, it can be something like this. You make sure your the back is exactly in place and you put this down here now. Okay? Take your pencil. Mark the line. I've got a pencil line over here. Mark, I cut it. And then the wall will come down and it will be inside between the two bevels. That and this. I got my two cuts, first cut, second cut, and it's all good. Now, what has to be done, I have to make a cut for the gunner. So I'll put my template in place, and I'll drop it down until it hits the shear clamp. Yeah. Now I need to measure how much it must come down. So I'll take a measurement over here and I'll say, my tape measure says this has to go down 4 centimeters over here. That means that I'll make a 4 centimeter notch for the shear clamp. The whole thing will drop down 4 centimeters and this will meet up. Now, basically, I know that this and this are on the same vertical line. It's just a small difference over here of a few millimeters, but I can use this as a reference. So I'll make a line down here. That's, that's the line that I must cut up in a 90 degree. But I must move the line a few millimeters over because there's a difference over here of, of that much. And I can just roughly put it down over here. Take my pencil, which is very short, and do that. Now I'll just clean up this line a little bit with a ruler, cut it like this. I go up four centimeters and I take a 90 degree off and I go that way on a 90. I'll show you in a second. And here we go. So the distance from here to here is four centimeters. So now it will drop down four. And I just take off this and it will come in place. Here's the template of my bulkhead done. Took me five minutes, maybe less. I got this bevel, I got that bevel, I got the shear clamp. And over here now I will glue on with duct tape or with uh, whatever tape. I'll stick on more cardboard so I can get the top. 
basically I'll take a measurement from the bottom of the boat all the way up to that corner here and I'll want it the same over here okay and then I will get the hull level I'll level the hull by putting a level on the bottom of the floor like this for example the minute the minute I level that level and the hull is level then I can either take a level line from the knuckle take a level line up the cardboard with a level or I can fail it out a little bit give it more a little bit of flair I don't know that all depends on what I decide to do but that line there's you can get it any way you want at the end of the day and then you just need the two heights you want the top level well that's the way I want it at least so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that there are my two bulkheads done they six mil and it's very important to look at the direction of the grain of the plies uh, good plywood has got uh, uh, odd an odd number of uh, of plies of layers so this is six mil and it's got three plies so I'm getting the grain going this way so the two outer layers are going this way so that gives the the, the sheet much more stiffness this way because it's going to be on compression and on tension the bottom is going to, when the lead pot touches down the bottom is going to be on tension yeah and that the lead pot's going to be want to bend up and that gunnel is going to be want to go out so it's going to get fiberglassed in and it's going to be a thin baton on the other side of that and that will so the tension is no problem over here actually I mean on tension we're very really strong we got a compression problem because the top, the top of that bulkhead is going to be on compression and that's where we're going to have to reinforce him properly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue on a baton over here probably a square I don't know maybe two by two centimeters something like that nothing serious and then it's going to be a hole the coach roof is going to be again six mil and again with the grain going that way so it's very really stiff for bending and that will give this business a lot of strength once once I get the coach roof on and that you know and then I'm gonna have uh, the combing of the hatch this is my hatch over here going from here to there to there to there and that's the hatch itself which is gonna open up like that or I don't know how I'm gonna open it but that's no problem anymore so there's gonna be a combing running around that is probably gonna be 8 mil ply and that 8 mil is gonna be glued onto here sticking up so that so they will be reinforcing this top section quite a bit they're going to be a bit of solid wood in there they're going to be a bit of thick ply they're going to be a whole coach roof and by the time all that's done and it should be able to take serious compression because basically all the pressure of this lead pod comes through mainly that bulkhead and that bulkhead okay um, then I'm going to have these two bulkheads also going to be taking the load yesterday with all my clamps down there I, I glued on this uh, I don't know what you'd call it maybe a sheer clamp or something better <coughs> and uh, now I take the sandwich this guy uh, because the epoxy is flesh so I'm gonna put on a mask uh, even if it wasn't flesh I'll put on a mask but when it's flesh you definitely want to put on a mask I'm going to be cutting through the stuff over here and basically I'm just going to do a long cut all the way to the other side uh, so yeah put on a mask get that cut and then I'm going to start uh, putting battens over here on all the bulkheads and I'm getting basically what I'm doing is I'm getting this whole thing ready to be uh, decked uh, <coughs> I want to finish all the epoxy all the epoxying so I know that I can give it like five days or a week or something to all dry and all you know harden and stuff and cure so then I can sand the whole thing now I'm going to deal with this I'm going to fair this the shear clamp and the ply I'm going to bring them down on an angle to meet this I'll be using a baton to do that but first I'm going to start over this 
So I'll just put my bat in here, get it up against that. Close enough is good enough. Mark that over there. Japanese saw, pull saw. Nice, done. Now, I'm going to have to use a straight edge and I'm going to have to turn this whole thing until it meets this on the same line. So I can use my one euro block plane or my present block plane. I don't know, I'll go for this one, it's just bigger. because the plywood doesn't like cutting so well because the grain is going in the wrong direction but it works let's have a quick look so I still got a long way to go over here but we haven't done anything yet so it's going to take me probably 15-20 minutes and I'll show you how it goes later on so I finished uh, planing this Got a fairs up really well. Yeah, there's no gap over here to top. So it's really good. And it's good up to the middle. Now, just to speed things up for the other side, so I make one like this. Yeah, a piece of plywood, whatever. And then I'll put it here. And then I'll, <coughs> and then I'll come here. And I'll, I'll just make a line. That's the biggest bevel. And I'll make another one. So, I've got my biggest bevel down there. Yeah, I've got my second one over here. Now, basically, I'm going to put it on over here. Okay. And I do my big one, then I do my small one. Now I'll make a line between the two and I'll bevel this to be the same like that. But I will be checking all the time as I'm beveling, I'll, as I'm planning, I'll be checking with my straight edge. easy part but then when you get to this this doesn't work so you can start up an angle grinder but then you have to put on a mask a rasp I love this so this thing eats wood <laughs> stuff that's sticking out that's why because when we usually I build and I just leave things long you know and then I come along with this and I put it exactly on the surface yeah and I just go and done Perfect cut. In order to get these little pieces of wood, they come onto the walls. Get epoxy now onto all of the bulkheads, and then the deck gets screwed onto them. But in order to get them snug and fit nice at the top and at the bottom, basically, if you have another person, then things get really easy. But if you're by yourself, then just find a way to clamp it on. Eh? So that block is clamped on like that, and the other clamp is just holding it on in place. 
Of course, it's going exactly where it's going to be. And uh, now that you got it in place, things get really simple. If you put this blue lap there, then there you go. You got your top line, okay? And then over here, this this is in the way. So any parallel piece of wood, and then you get your bottom line. Now that that's a left lens line. It's that's the bevel, everything's correct, but it's gotta move. So with the bevel square we'll move it down after we get the length. Lead pot's done from the inside at least. Got all the battens on. Now it's ready for the deck. Uh, these two bulkheads been put in so that piece of wood is screwed on from the other side and it just clamped on there. This piece is screwed on from the bottom and that screw is holding it in place. My fiberglass is just under the screw so I'll get it out later on. That's fiberglass too. Anyway looking good eh? I like it. There we go that's nicely put eh? And then, uh, really quickly, so, use a uh, hole saws, yeah, these guys, and uh, basically, you'll drill out four corners and then you'll cut between them with the uh, pull saws, I mean. And then over here, it's the same deal. What I'm trying to do is, <coughs> first of all, I'd, I'd it's nice that you can get your hands through, but uh, saving weight on a multi hull is just as important as making it strong. So basically, that's something that I uh, I'm practicing now, and I'm thinking about a lot, and I'm really, I'm really, really trying to get as many grams I can off anywhere I can. Um, it will probably take me another two or three boats to get dialed on that, but uh, slowly, slowly we'll get there.